Hi guys, John Doherty here. And um, this is a short, brief presentation on Forex. And it's the basics, and it's the concept of candlesticks and the basics of candlesticks. So this is a power presentation just to those that are wanting to understand how these uh, work, what they are, and what they are about. A little bit about myself before we start the the presentation. I have a young, two young children, uh, Benjamin who's nine, Francesca who is seven, and I got into Forex around about two and a half to three years ago so I could start building some um, extra side money from my job because I work full time and I trade as a part time trader. Okay. Yeah. From there, I've learned a lot in that time, and, and I'm now starting to empower, empower others to educate themselves and learn the general basics and the concepts of Forex. And obviously, I've got a brand which I call Forex Fire. Uh, that fire stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. So I'm building that little bit of money uh, because the banks don't give you much interest on what you have in your bank. This is a great way to compound your money and invest it wisely. And with the right educational platform and tools, which is what I'm part of, you could get more return on investing your money this way than what you would do have it sitting in your bank, okay? So sit back, have a cup of tea, relax, and please enjoy what you're just about to see, watch and listen, learn. Take notes if you need to, but as always, please comment, like, share, wherever or whenever you're watching this and whichever platforms you're doing this on, okay? So let's go ahead. So what we have is what I've got this as, as a brand. The Forex Fire, again, stands for the Financial Independence Retire Early. My name is John Doherty. If you want to see more about what I do, you can simply head straight over to forexfiremembers.com. You can get on a chat with me there straight away. I'm available at all times. It's just basically through my mobile phone. Also, I have other platforms of engagement where I have YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook and Instagram. So you can find me anywhere where you see this handsome chap's face. So where we are, this is just a basic presentation again. Welcome to the Candlesticks Basics. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read off the slideshow and then maybe go into a little bit of a description, a little bit of a chat on what we see within the picture. So what we've got on this first slide is it's a candlesticks defined and this is just a general concept and the basics of this so if you are new to this and you're looking to want to get involved this is an ideal place to start just to get an understanding on what these are and how they form okay uh, if you're being trained for a while or intermediate advanced obviously you do need to watch this sort of section of this tutorial what i'm putting together but this is for the level entry guys okay so what does a red or black candlestick mean now the candles don't have to be red or black because when you put these on your MT4, you can configure the candles to any color that you want. But I've used this as a preference. So the color of a candlestick tells us whether the candle was formed by a positive trading day, which is an advance in price, sorry, or a negative day, which is a decline in price. As you can see, we've got, let's see, we've got an upward trend and then we've got the downward. And then we've got the upwards, yeah. So we've got the red and the green on this one. So on here to the left on the picture, we have the open. So this is where the price action started. So let's see, we've got we've got these candles here, okay. So we move to this red one. So we've got an open, okay. And then this red one sort of opened here, but it pushed up there, but it came back down. This would then create an upper an upper shadow because this is where we officially opened, guys. So that creates the wick, hence the name candle. So this would have been your wick, but in the meantime of that time frame, whether it's a, a five minute, a one minute, a one hour, a one week, a one month, a one day, we've had a push down, okay? We've pushed all the way down to this lower part. This is where we've bottomed out, but the buyers came back into control, pushing the price back up. But then the time frame on that level stopped. This will create the close. So in essence, we've pushed it here, but the buyers came back in. We've created a lower shadow wick, and then we've closed officially here. So that creates the real body. And then at the time of opening, you had a higher, 
a higher wick and you've got a lower wick, okay? <clears throat> so what we're gonna concentrate on this slide is what about the white candlestick? So we're gonna concentrate on this one here, guys. Same preference, right? But this time we've had an opening price here. So on this instance, obviously maybe the greens, uh, we had an opening price on the bottom and then we've had a push up, maybe it's a push down as well. So the white candle, also known as the open, shows the price has moved up. So the price has opened, but it's moved up. Candlesticks have a body and usually two wicks at the end. The bottom of the white body, the bottom of the white body represents the opening price and the top represents the closing price as we discussed in the last slide. The top and the bottom of each of the wick are the highest and the lowest days respectively. Not specifically days, it depends on the time frame again. So you always have different time frames on the charts. I'm just using this on a day basis uh, as a reference, okay? So thus this kind of will re represent a close, a, a positive close, because this is where we opened and this is where we eventually closed. So this is an upward candle, okay? In the preceding comparison, you can see the bar, right? So this is the one below here. So this is similar to this. However, this will be what we call a bar, a bar chart. So they look very similar, but uh, they are the simply different look. So if you can imagine this being the fat body between the open and the close, as you can see, open, close. So that's this part here, the main frame. And then this would be your wick on the lower, and this would be your wick on the high. So these are Japanese candles, and then these ones would be the bar, okay? My personal preference style of trading, I like to use the, the Japanese candles. A lot of Forex traders do. <clears throat> They're a bit more visual and a little bit more easier to follow. There are other types of candles, but we will be moving into those as I do other tutorials and other presentations. Okay, guys. So now we're going to look at some uh, very familiar indicators. Candlesticks that form based solely on price movement. And many candles are very telling within this. There are great indicators of what is likely to happen in the near future with respect to the price of the current market. So now we're going to take a look at each one individually and the importance it has on your chart. So we have one of the main ones which you need to look out for, which is the all important doji. Okay, so the doji is a name for a candlestick that forms when the market's opening price and closing price are virtually equal. The doji tells us that during the trading day, the market has moved higher and lower. Neither the buyers or the sellers were prominent or in charge. It says that the market traded up and the sellers stepped in and traded lower, and then the buyers stepped in. When just looking at the doji, it looks and appears very uneventful. But when you combine this sort of candle with certain trends, it can be a very telling uh, indicator on just where the markets are going to go. So when thinking in perspective of the market trend moving higher or a downward trend going lower, when this doji appears on the candle and then the next candle forms, it's a very telling sign that the number of buyers or sellers, the outcome of the sellers have become equal. Therefore, the market has been in a trend either up or down. And when this, this doji suddenly appears, it tells us that since the buy and the sell has equaled out, there's going to be a reversal, I should say. So if you have a, an upward trend, as you can see here, okay, see what I'm a downward trend, I should say, and then you get the, the, the doji appearing here, and then this is going to move up, you get this new candle color, you know there's going to be a reversal. I hope that made sense. So then we go on to the one called a yeah, shooting star. The shooting star. It is a bearish candle that form after an advance in the market. So try to think of it in this manner. The price has advanced in several candles, whether it's over the days, the minutes, the hours, and tries to continue in advance. It opens and, and trades higher, creating the, the tall wick at the very top of the candle, okay, on here. But then the sellers take over and force that price down and close near the opening price. <clears throat> this is an early indication that the advance has lost its momentum. So we've got this upward trend, okay? Technically, according to the picture, the closing would need to be below the opening price. However, that is not always the case, guys. 
Meaning, if you simply switch the open and closing price on the picture, it would still indicate an early one for a reversal. Maybe just not as pronounced as the close that is lower than the open, but it would still be a warning. So let's just take a look at the picture and a little bit of a brief description. So the shooting star is what you see highlighted in yellow. <clears throat> so number one, we've had this uptrend movement. Number two, the upper shadow at least twice as big as the real body. So this is the upper shadow, the wick, okay? And then the buy, the sellers came back in, pushed the price down. So this is where we opened, the, it had a rocket all the way up the top, but then the, the sellers came back in, pushed the price down, creating a long, long wick, which is bigger than the body. So the real body is bullish or bearish, but it's better if it is bearish. So you can see that we have the upward trend, pushed up, price is being pushed down, creating the lower body and then the longer wick. So that is called a shooting star. We have two preferences on the next one. There's a morning star and an evening star. Now I'm gonna sort of explain what the two, they're, they're the same, but it obviously one's on an upward trend and one's formed on a downward trend. This is basically the even stars is also a bearish candlestick pattern that forms after an advance in the markets. By itself, the doji, which is this, at the top of the formation would just be a doji. Meaning the opening and closing prices were virtually equal, which we've seen in the last, the last slide. So it's a bit of a cross effect. But when the white candle forms the following day or the following sort of formation of that candle time frame, indicating a change in direction, the doji then becomes what we call that evening star. So we've got this upward trend, then we've got a doji form. But then if the trend sort of reverses and goes back down, this then becomes what we call as an evening star. So to the left of the picture, you'll see it in reverse. If we've had a downtrend, and then we've had this doji candle form, but then we have a sudden change in direction, this then will be called, become a morning star. Right, so now we're moving on to one called the hammer, <coughs> excuse me, and a hangman. The hammer is normally found at the bottom and forms when the market has been in a downtrend and finally reached support the support level. The formation of the hammer occurs when, when a security trades significantly lower than its opening price, but then rallies, goes up, later in the day or within that time frame to close either above or very close to its opening price. This pattern forms a hammer-shaped candlestick. It's very similar to a mirror image of the shooting star at the top of an advance. When the candle forms at the top of a pattern after an advance, it is called a hanging man. Both look very similar and can either have a positive or a negative body. So they can be at the top or at the bottom, okay? The hanging man is a bearish candlestick pattern that forms at the end of an uptrend. It looks like the hammer, it looks like the hammer, but it forms at the end of an advance instead of a decline like the hammer. So your decline is the hammer, the upward one is the, ha ha the, the hanging man, sorry. It's created when there is a significant sell-off near the market open, but buyers are able to push that price back, okay? So we've got the opening price, it's came down, but the buyers have came back in and pushed that price back up, creating this hanging man. Generally, the large sell-off is seen as an early indication that the bulls, which are the buyers, or losing control. So we've had this nice push on the uptrend, okay? And then we've had this new candle where it's came down and still pushed up, but then we're, we're getting this downward trend movement. So this then will become a hanging man. We move on to one called the spinning top. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a bad chest this morning, guys. So the spinning top to me is a little bit like a doji, however, there's a bit more of some substance to the body of the candle. So the spinning stop, the spinning top is a candlestick formation where the real body is very small despite a wide range of price movement. So if you can imagine the body and then you've got the wicks, so it's a bit like the spinning top. This candle is often regarded, regarded as a neutral and used as a signal, as an indecision about the future direction of the market. So when you see these sort of candles, you could get 
sort of uh, what we call consolidation, where price move of bands, you'll get one of these candles and it will just steer between that band in a sideways motion, okay? So the following day or two usually confirms if a reversal in the trend is going to happen. So if you can imagine a spinning top when you were a child, okay, you've got like the spindle on the bottom, spindle on the top to spin it, and then you've got the body which keeps its gravity sort of there. So you've got the open and close on the right, the close and open, so nobody's sort of in charge. It's normally towards forming a doji, but you've got that, a little bit of uh, sort of substance to that candle. So you've got a long wick, so the bulls are trying to push the price up, but they didn't manage to hold a significant high, okay? And then you've got the bears trying to push the price down, but they didn't manage to hold a significant low, creating the long wicks and the small bodies. So guys, that's just a little brief presentation and PowerPoint on the different kinds of candles. There is more, however, I just want to put a few together on the ones that I sort of look at when I'm trading my sort of charts. Again, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please comment, like, and share this. Uh, this was based or produced upon people that are looking for the first time and want a little bit of an understanding. Okay, guys. So my name's been John Dougherty. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you want to find out more about what I do, how I do it, or how you can get involved in this, you can simply head to any of the platforms on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and search for Forex Fire. Or more importantly, head straight over to www.forexfiremembers.com and get straight on the chat and we can get you started. Thank you very much.